Hey everyone, ready to dive into this whole digital products thing? You guys sent in a ton of interviews with YouTubers who are like the experts in this. Yeah. I got to say, I'm pumped. So we're going to break it all down, you know, help you figure out how to actually make a living doing this. And it's really interesting seeing how many different ways there are to do it. Right. But they all pretty much agree. You got to find something you actually like, you know, something you're into and then yeah. figure out if anyone wants to buy it. That's the trick, isn't it? Yeah. And that's what I love about what we're doing here. Yeah. It's like figuring out what you're passionate about. Absolutely. One expert, Jessica Stansberry, she actually says, ask yourself, what do you want to be an expert in? Oh, that's so good. Because you're going to be spending a lot of time on this. So yeah. You might as well enjoy it, right? I love that. Yeah. It's kind of like what Brian Garvin talks about in his free guide. It's over 12,300 words, all about affiliate marketing. Mm. And it's free on his website, briangarvin.com. Right. So make sure you visit briangarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and grab your free affiliate guide. It's called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. You just put in your name and email and then click the link they send you. It's all in his YouTube bio, too. Makes sense, right? If you don't like your product, like, really like it, right? how are you going to get anyone else excited about it? Totally. You're not going to be motivated to keep going if you don't love it. Exactly. So before we get all into, like, specific products and stuff, yeah, let's take a step back. What even IS, a digital product? A lot of these experts, like Wisdom Speaks, they all kind of say it's anything that exists digitally I... and has value to the customer. So it's kind of like a physical product, but like yeah. online. Exactly. So we're talking... Ebooks, uh -huh. templates, uh -huh. courses, mm -hmm. yeah. audio training, yeah, memberships, all kinds of stuff. Pretty much anything you can think of, you can probably make it a digital product. Oh, I like that. Yeah, but it's got to solve a problem, right? Oh, right. Yeah, but that's the value. If it doesn't help someone do something or make their life better or even just more enjoyable, mm -hmm. why would they buy it? That's such a good point. It reminded me of something what one expert said, I think it was Estancio. So many people, they make the product first. Oh, yeah. And then they try to figure out if anyone even wants it. I know. It's like building a house without a blueprint, right? Right. It might look great, but no one wants to live in it. Yeah. So how do you avoid that? Like, where do you even start? That's where market research comes in. Okay. Market research. It's like your compass. Yeah. It tells you what people want, what they need. And it doesn't have to be super complicated, right? No, not at all. Jessica Stansberry, she actually says, just start by talking to people. Oh, interesting. You know, like people in your target audience, find out what they're struggling with, what they're looking for. So simple. I love that. Right. And you can also check out Facebook groups. Oh, yeah. See what people are talking about there. Makes sense. And Google, YouTube, Instagram, they all have search. Just see what's already out there. Okay, so you kind of get a feel for... The landscape. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to be setting sail without a compass, right? That's a good one. That was Brandon Timothy, right? That's him. He's got some great analogies. I love it. Okay, so we know what a digital product is, kind of. Yeah. We know we need to do some market research to figure out what people actually want. Right, so you don't waste a ton of time making something nobody buys. Exactly. And I think that's a good place to stop for now. When we come back, we'll get into the fun stuff like brainstorming actual product ideas. And we'll look at some easy ways to create your product without getting overwhelmed. Sounds good. See you soon. See ya. Okay, so we're back. And I am ready to come up with some awesome product ideas. All right, let's do it. But remember, you don't have to, you know, reinvent the wheel here. All right. Start with what you already know, what you're already good at. Wisdom Speaks had some good advice. They said, think about your hobbies, your skills, stuff like that. Could you turn any of that into a product? I love that. It's like using what you already have. Like Brian Garvin, he's got that guide, right? Yep. 10 steps to becoming a super affiliate. Exactly. Affiliate marketing is like his thing. So he made a whole guide about it. And it's a great guide, by the way. Have you had a chance to check it out yet? Oh, yeah. Wholly recommend it. So much good info in there. It's free, too. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, to download your free copy of his affiliate guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. It's over 12,300 words of amazing info. Just pop in your name and email, click the link they send you. It's all in his YouTube bio, too. So you don't have to be, like, a total expert yeah. to get started, right? Yeah, no, not at all. Jessica Stansberry, she was talking about that. Like, you can just be passionate about something, you know? Right. And learn as you go. Yeah, you don't have to know everything right away. Exactly. It's more about, like, are you excited about it? Yeah. And can you find people who are also interested in it? Okay, so we have some ideas. Yeah. Maybe, 
Now what? Like, yeah. what kind of product do we actually make? Well, that's the fun part, right? There are so many options. Ebook, a course, a template. Oh, what about a membership site? Those seem to be popular. Yeah, those are great if you want to create like a, a community around your product. But if you're just getting started, a lot of the experts recommend like a simple PDF guide exactly. or an ebook. Those seem less intimidating. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can get them out there quickly. Right. And it's a good way to test if people are actually interested. Oh, I remember Betty in business. She even showed how to make a mock up in Canva. Yes. It looks so professional. And she did it like super fast. Yeah, you don't need any fancy software or anything. So cool. And another thing, remember Estencio? Yeah. He was all about pre-selling and prototypes. Like, don't make the whole thing before you even know if anyone wants it. Right. Makes sense. Create a sample chapter, a mini course, something like that. So you can get feedback. Exactly. And then you can tweak it. Yeah. Make sure it's something people actually want. Okay, so now you've got your amazing product. Right. Where do you sell it? Oh, that's a big question. Website? Hmm. Or like... One of those marketplace sites. That's the big decision. Luckily, our experts have some thoughts on uh, this. Okay, good. So your own website, that gives you a lot of control, right? Yeah, you can make it look exactly how you want. Exactly. You set the prices, you control the whole experience. That's good. But you got to get people to actually visit your website. Oh, right. Traffic. Yeah, that can be a lot of work. And then there's like... Etsy and those kinds of places. Right. The marketplaces. Yeah. They already have tons of shoppers. That's true. But there's more competition mm -hmm. and you don't have as much control over like your branding. Okay. So it depends what you're looking for. Yeah. Do you want total control or do you want an easier way to get started? It's yeah. a trade-off. Makes sense. Okay. So we've made the product. We picked a place to sell it. How do we actually, you know, get people to buy it? Marketing. Of course. And there's the free stuff and the paid stuff. Energy had a good way of thinking about it, which is that it's all about time versus money. Okay, I like that. So if I have more time than money, I should focus on the free stuff. Exactly. Things like building a personal brand. Even if it's like not my actual face. Even then. It's about like creating a voice, a style that people connect with. Oh, okay. So like creating content that's, you know, related to my product, but also just interesting and helpful. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly it. Become that go-to person for your niche. Like that hair care ebook Energies was talking about? Yes, it's not just about selling the ebook. It's about sharing tips, answering questions, being helpful. Okay, I get it. And what about calls to action? I remember Jana Socials was talking about that. Oh, well, those are super important. You got to tell people what you want them to do. Click here, buy now, all that. Exactly. Don't be afraid to be direct. And another good one for free marketing, Pinterest. Oh, yeah, Pinterest. Especially if you have a visual product like an ebook or a template. Yeah, Pinterest is all about visual. Exactly. And people are on there looking for information, so it's a great way to get discovered. Okay, so what about paid marketing? Like when you actually have some money to spend. So Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Instagram ads, those are all good options. But they can get expensive, right? Yeah, you got to be careful. Make sure you learn how to target your ads. Right. So you're not just wasting money showing them to the wrong people. That makes sense. And influencer marketing, is that still a thing? Oh, yeah, that can be really effective. Yeah. But choose your influencers carefully. Like make sure they're a good fit for your product and your brand. Exactly. It's Look, all about authenticity these days. People can spot a fake from a mile away. Totally. Okay, so we've covered a lot here. We talked about choosing a product, making the product, selling the product, marketing the product. Yeah. Anything else we need to know before we wrap up? One last thing. Remember... Building a business takes time. Right. It's not going to happen overnight. You might have days with zero. You might feel like giving up. It can be tough. Yeah. But just remember, everyone starts somewhere. Even Brian Garvin had to start somewhere. And look at him now. He's got this awesome free guide that's helped thousands of people. You can find it at briangarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Grab your free copy of his affiliate guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate, it's over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Simply put in your name and email, then click the link they send you. You can find the link in his YouTube bio, too. So just keep going, be consistent, and don't give up. Yeah, it's easy to get discouraged when you're just starting out. Totally. But that's where consistency comes in, right? right? Jaina Social, she was saying, even if you have days with zero sales, yeah. you got to just keep going. Don't give up. Exactly. Right. And Batty in business, she had this great way of looking at it. She said, think of every video you make, every post, every interaction yeah. as an investment. 
Oh, I like that. Yeah. Like you're investing in your future success. Exactly. It's not about getting rich quick. It's about building something sustainable, something you can be proud of. Okay. So big picture, what are the like main takeaways from all of these experts? What do we really need to remember? Well, first of all, you don't need to be some big shot expert to make this work. Right. We talked about that. Just start with something you love, something you're already good at. And then figure out if there's a market for it, right? Exactly. Market research is key. Figure out what people want, what they need. And don't be afraid to start small, like an ebook or a PDF guide. Totally. You don't have to build some huge, complicated thing right away. Okay. So we've got our product. What's next? Pick a platform, your own website, Etsy, whatever works for you. And then market it, right? Get the word out. Yes, free marketing, paid marketing, try different things and see what works. But most importantly, just be consistent and don't give up. Right. Couldn't have said it better myself. Now, I got to throw one more thing out there just to get you thinking. Ooh, okay, I like it. So energy, she talks about the thing called the 3C method. Community, content, then product. Right, build your audience first. Exactly. But what if you took it even further? Okay, I'm listening. What if you built the community before you even thought about a product. Whoa, that's interesting. Right, like get to know your audience really, really well. Understand their needs, their pain points, yeah. all that. Yeah, and then create the perfect product to solve those problems. You'd basically have a built-in customer base before you even launch. Exactly, it's a totally different way of thinking about it, but it could be super powerful. So something to think about as you start your digital product journey. Definitely, food for thought. And of course, for a ton more great advice, be sure to check out Brian Garvin's free guide. 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate, over 12,300 words of amazing info. Head to briangarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, to download it. You can find the link in his YouTube bio, too. All right, everyone, that's it for a deep dive into the world of digital products. I hope you found it helpful and inspiring. Go out there and create something awesome. Yeah, good luck.